to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so much new, right? We had like an intro screen, hopefully. What? Who the hell am I? Feeling so profesh. And I also created that like myself. Also, we have the background. It's the first day of Vlogmas. I am attempting Vlogmas this year. I'm gonna try to just upload every single day. I think for the month, if not at least up until Christmas, that's the goal anyway. We have the Christmas tree background. If you guys have been here for a while, it's like my favorite thing. I love it. And I got a new Christmas tree, which it's kind of hard to tell here, but there's like fiber optics and it's like the coolest thing ever. And I'm just trying to make the most of the holiday, man, because Christmas is my favorite time of year. And I'm not gonna let anything stop that, okay? <laughs> Do my best. That all being said, hello guys. Today's video is also really, really special because it's actually a collab. I'm collabing today with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. We've been wanting to collab for a while now. We've been talking back and forth and I actually met Annette last year around this time, around the holiday season. And we decided that for a collab, we're gonna test each other's makeup uh, knowledge. <laughs> and so we've sent each other swatches of makeup palettes, just the swatches and we have to see if we can name that palette. We don't have a name at the moment for what this is gonna be as I'm filming this, but I'm sure the title has given it away, I hope. <laughs> I hope I titled this okay. But anyway, definitely go check out Annette's channel, go check out her video. I honestly cannot wait to see how she's done. As we were coming up with this and like screenshotting swatches and doing all this, we realized like this might be really tough. This might be super duper tough, so we'll see how it goes. I do suggest if you're someone out there who makes videos wants to do this, like try it out, see how you do. So she sent me a list of 10 palettes, like swatches, and then we also have an answer key, which I haven't opened, but there were like slight spoilers because we didn't account for technology giving you previews of stuff. So the first one's gonna be kind of like the practice round in a quiz essentially. <laughs> but anyway, let me scoot over. Let's open up this email. I haven't even seen the swatch. I didn't want to give myself like any head start. Let's quiz. Let's quiz. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. The thing that's so crazy is like, I know what the first one, I'm pretty sure I know what the first one is. Maybe I'm totally freaking wrong. I don't know. So looking at this, the color story is quite neutral. Like it looks very neutral here. And I, like, there's this really pretty gold. There's like a peachy flip. That must be wrong then, right? I know I know what the answer to this is, I think. <laughs> okay but it has to be right. What? I think that this palette is Juvia's Place's The Magic Palette. I think that's what this is. Only, <laughs> it doesn't look like it though, right? It looks so neutral and so warm toned, but that's gonna be my answer for this. I can't check the answer key right now because I don't want to give away the spoilers for everything else. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so tough. Okay, let's move on to the second one. I'm sorry, formatting's all over the place. We've never done this before. It was like a struggle to figure out how we were gonna even do this and like pull this off. Next though. This one I know. I know that this has to be the Huda Beauty Neon Pink palette. Look at those swatches. Oh, but maybe it's not. Wait, this could be the BH Cosmetics. How many swatches are there? There's only four there. Oh my God, detective work. This is not, actually I'm wrong eh, to that first answer. That's not my final answer. <laughs> okay, this is not that. I think this is the BH Cosmetics Ice Cream Shop. I don't know what the name of it is though. Does that count? I feel like Annette would be like, Meh, it doesn't count. Oh shoot. Okay, um, it's the pink and purple palette from them though. What's that called? I don't even know the freaking name of it. Hmm. But I own it, it's so pretty. Uh, but that's the one I'm going with. I'm going with the BH. Let me write these down so I can remember. I feel like knowing ice cream shop is like enough. Come on. I know what collection it's from. That should count for something. That should count for something. Number three. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if this is the entire swatches, like if these are all the swatches of the palette or not, but there are also eight swatches in this one. For some reason, I want to go with something like Huda, like one of those mauve ones or one of the ones that was like for each skin tone maybe. I think it's a pretty color story actually. It's quite like mauve-y, neutral-y, burgundy, like a nice one for fall. I don't know. I don't know what it is though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What has eight shades? You guys, this is so tough. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back to it. Let's move on, let's move on. Number four, I know this one because I also put this in a net. <laughs> This is the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette for sure. I left my background on because I didn't know how hard it was gonna get. And I was like, 
at least there'll be some like clues here. So that one for sure, four, I'm definitely, final answer, going with the Kaleidos Escape Pod. Let's keep it moving. Number five. This seems like something I should know. Like I should know what this is, but off the top of my head, I really don't. So there's some really, I like the color story looking at it. I really love those teals with the yellow and like gold. And then there's this really pretty purple and pink side. I don't even know. I like can't even think though in my head what this could be. Y'all, I need, I need a lifeline. I need to be able to like phone a friend right now. There are 15 shades in it. So when I think of like how this would have to be positioned, it'd probably be like three rows of five. So something like that maybe could help me out. Like one row would be neutrals. One row would be like those greeny yellows and one row would be like purple and pinks if it were like that. <gasps> No, no, no. That can't be the moon spell palette. Should I guess that? Should I guess the moon spell palette? That's like the only thing I can think of. Think about it. It's like neutrals in the middle. It has like the greens on the bottom and it has the purples on the top. Holy, I think I fucking figured it out. Okay, I might be totally wrong. I'm going with Lunar Beauty moon spell palette. Oh my gosh. If I get that one right, I just like... I'm gonna feel so good. I think we figured that one out. Let's move on to number six. This one is so tough. What the, seriously, what the heck is this? This color story looks so all over the place to me and it'll be so funny if I like have this. <laughs> okay, so there's like a lot of golds. There's like this really bright pop of blue. There's another blue in there and then there's two kind of pinky tones. There's like an orange and then like a black. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna count up shades because I feel like that really helped me kind of try to configure the palette in my head of like what it could be and also just size, that helps you. There are 12 shades in here. So some of the 12 pan palettes I think out there, I don't know, I think ABH maybe is 12, but I don't think of any ABH color stories with this one. I'm trying to think of anything I saw with like a pop of blue before. I feel like the Dominique Cosmetics, cause I almost put that in a nut, that's kind of similar, like the Latte too, but I know it's not because it's not the exact colors and I saw those swatches. <laughs> mm, there's two of those two golds though. It's looking very like Princess Jasmine to me. That first like four color story. Oh my gosh, but there's like this beautiful sagey green in it. What the heck is this? Y'all, I don't know. I'm coming back to that one too. Skip for now. Okay, number seven. This one is, I think, the Biba palette from Natasha Denona. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, it's that or like the alter ego dupe, but I'm pretty sure we went with like Natasha Denona. So I'm gonna go for seven, Natasha Denona Biba palette. I feel pretty strong about that one. I'm pretty happy I also got it because those are pretty neutral shades, but for me to know, I think that that last like five shades that were a little bit more cool toned and like gray and the blacks gave it away for me okay so six we don't know yet seven natasha denona biba number eight i'm pretty sure is going to be the oceanic palette from ace beauté uh it looks very similar to it especially what's giving it away to me is that like really lime green and then there's also this beautiful like periwinkle kind of bluish color in there. I have that palette and I do think that it's that one instead of like the Whale Song palette from Menagerie. I've been on the Menagerie Cosmetics site recently as well because I bought some singles. So I'm gonna go, final answer, Ace Beauté Oceanic palette. I just wanna pass the test. Like I just wanna get a C or better, which that's like rough for me, but I'll be okay with that. Number nine has some juicy swatches. Honestly, the one of the big, I just thought of this right now. This is definitely probably Nabla. I feel like Nabla has these like juicy A swatches that just are like kind of rounded. You see like those rounded edges. I know I sound like such a makeup detective right now, but it's true. It's true. So I think that this is Nabla, but this is the issue. What palette is, I think it's the secret garden. I think it's a secret garden from Nabla. I think that's what this is. I'm trying to think of, oh, poison garden. I think maybe is it Poison Garden or Secret? I think Secret Garden's like my own thing I keep saying in all my videos. Mm, I think that's just like in my head. I'm just like obsessed with Secret Gardens right now, but I think it's Poison Garden. What if I'm wrong and I just like switched the wrong answer? Okay, um, what are there? There's the Dreamy, the Dreamy 2, there's the Bloom or something, there's the... Mystic something. I'm gonna mm, poison guard. I'm gonna go poison garden. I 
I hope that's not wrong. And the last one before we have to go back to these other ones, I don't know them. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh shoot, I was sure. There's nine here. My first thought for this palette was the Juvia's Place Tribe palette, which I believe is the green one. I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. And this looks very similar. Some of the colors in here, like that really lime green, um, as well as like, I don't know, that's just what I think. Uh, I'm realizing like maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the nine shades really kind of locks that in for me. So mm, I'm just like, I have too many other ones to worry about, honestly, to like, worry about this one. I'm gonna go Juvia's Place. I feel like that first one, how can that possibly be Juvia's Place? But I, I, I read it though. I read it on like a peripheral and then I was like, oh no, I can't read this. So I don't know. Okay, Juvia's Place Tribe Palette. I'm pretty sure Tribe is the green one. Okay, so three and six, we gotta go back to. Well, also the first one, I thought there was just more blue in that palette. I thought there was like a dark blue in there. One, two, three, four. There's 18 colors here. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with my answer there, but I still feel like that seems wrong. What's my problem? Like that must not be right, but I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get the practice answer wrong. Let's go to three. So far, all of these have been very like two each brand. Like the amount of swatches shown is what seems to be in the palette, at least if I got any of these right. <laughs> I kind of want to go with, what are these like mauve palettes? This just seems very Huda to me. Like something about it seems Huda-esque. I just don't know what palette. I'm like, is it the naughty one? It seems maybe like it would be one of the little ones though. And then if it's one of the little ones, I don't, it's not the mauve, like the original mauve. I'm thinking it's one of those ones, like I said, that's like for the different skin tones. So maybe I'll go with the Huda. Is it just like the Nude Obsessions Dark palette? I don't even know what it's called, but I'm gonna go with that. I literally have no other like guesses at the moment. I don't know, that's my best guess. It could be the Naughty palette though that just came out. I haven't, no, I don't think it's that one. I think that one's a little more red. Let's go to six. <laughs> this one is like, I have n absolutely no idea. Like, you know when you get on a test, it's a fill in the blank and not a like A, B, C, or D. That's how I feel right now where it's just like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to pick something out of thin air because I don't know it. 12 shades. I'm gonna give myself like three minutes to really think about this. Y'all, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to do question marks for six. I don't wanna do it, but I literally don't even have a guess. I don't even have a guess. What the heck is this thing? This will be a mystery. I'm excited to open up that email. So B, number six, seriously, I know I lost one because of the fact that I literally don't have an answer. So we're starting this out, <laughs> well with less because the first one's supposed to be a given. Oh shit, oh my gosh, are you ready to reveal the answers? I'm gonna give you a second if you were playing along, finalize your answers right now. I'll leave maybe these on the screen for you. We'll give you a second so you can play along with me before I read out the answers. <laughs> okay, let me find this email. I had Sam transfer it so I could stop seeing it. Okay, answers, here we are. We're here, we're ready to go. I was right because I did read it and it was a practice room <laughs> question because we both read or at least saw a part of the first answer. Juvia's Place Magic Palette was the first one, okay. Oh, that one was hard. I thought there was more blues in it, honestly, than there were. I think these got a little messed up because I know the second one on here isn't it. So let me go down. Okay, number two was the BH Cosmetics Cotton Candy Palette. I didn't name it Cotton Candy, but I'm giving myself it. I knew what it was. I knew what it was. I just didn't know the freaking name. Sorry. That probably is an indication of like, issues, but for my purposes, I'm counting it, y'all. I am totally counting it. So we got technically two, right? We'll count the practice one so we can actually do percentages easier. Two for two, y'all. Two for two. I would not have gotten Juvia's Place Magic Palette for that first one though. There's no freaking way I would have got that. For number three, I guess the Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions Dark Palette. Wrong, oh my gosh. I should have known that it couldn't have been that because there weren't nine shades. It was the Melt She's In Parties Palette, which makes total sense, right? When I see the color story, I see the palette. It's very like, what you see is what you get. I should have, I didn't even think Melt. I didn't even think Melt. I'd love to know if you got that one right. Like if you were screaming at the computer to 
me like, it's Mel Cheese Day parties. I wish I could have phoned you, girl. I wish I could have phoned you. Okay, number four, I was right. Kaleidos Escape Pod Palette. Man, I should have put pictures. She put like these cute little pictures with each of the answers. I did not do that. <laughs> I did not do that. So we've gotten one wrong so far. Oh, I'm at, okay. Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette was my fifth guess. And I am so proud of this one. I did detective work on that. I had no idea starting off seeing that swatch, what the hell it was. I was just like, it's pretty, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what this is. And I think that middle section of all those neutrals like really threw me off of like, what even is this? But at the end of the day, I just sat there. I was like, I can do this. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, but I'm just so proud of myself for that one. Cause it was truly like starting from not knowing and then getting to it. Proud day in my life right here. Moon spell palette. Maybe it's a sign I should buy it. <laughs> Okay, number six. I had no idea what number six was. The Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam. It's pretty interesting because I mentioned at the beginning Dominique Cosmetics, but I mentioned the Latte 2 palette. The Rustic Glam, I should have known, I should have known. I think maybe like my brain was trying to get me to get to the Rustic Glam, but honestly, I kind of forgot this palette existed, so that would probably never have happened. But I was on the right track, which I think is kind of interesting. Rustic Glam, very interesting color story. Looking at it here and looking at like the actual swatches just swatched out, no packaging, no anything. It's very chaotic to me. I'm not a fan of it. Just thought I'd give some opinions on it. Maybe I'm just bitter that I didn't get it right. <laughs> Number seven. I got this one right, guys, I did. It's the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Y'all, we did it, we got it right. That one was pretty easy. I'm surprised how easy a neutral palette was. Like when I was looking at it at first, I was like, ah, oh, and then it just clicked so immediately. So really happy I got that right. Oh my gosh, I know I got one wrong right now. Okay, let me keep going though in order. Next, let's talk about number eight. I guessed the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette and that is correct. It was the Oceanic palette. So I'm very happy with that. I own that palette. I'm glad I could spot it in all these palettes because I'd feel like worse. I'd feel worse if it was a palette I owned and then couldn't guess it. So that one's really exciting. Next, I guess the Nabla Poison Garden. Oh my God, let's find it on here. Oh my gosh, it's not on here. Okay, let me message Annette really fast. Okay, I just sent the message. Ooh, Annette's already typing back. She is so good. I'm like the worst at this type of crap and she's so good at it. All right, let's see. And this is the one that I'm like, I hope I got it right. I really hope so because this was well, this would be another one I'm really proud of because I don't own this palette. All right, typing, typing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So she told me what the palette was. It's just called the secret palette. Okay, I'm looking this up. I am so annoyed with myself. Like I technically knew what it was. I just didn't know the name. So it's like, but like this one to me, I put poison. So here we are. Oh my gosh. It's just called the secret palette. And I was like the secret garden. No, no, no. It's not the secret garden. Is it the poison? Let's look up. I think Nabla has a poison palette, right? Oh my God. Do you want to know what the poison palette is? Um, poison garden. So there's a secret palette and then there's the poison garden palette. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Okay, I'm gonna count that as wrong, but I'm proud of myself because I know that like in my heart, I did also get it right, kind of. You know, but it was wrong. It was super wrong. Okay, and then last, last, last on my list. I got this wrong, you guys. Oh my gosh. So the actual correct answer to this swatch was the BH Cosmetics Pisces palette. I would have never got that. I would have never known which BH Cosmetics palette it was. Never would have even crossed my mind. Also, it didn't help the fact that like there's technically eight shadows in here and then there's like the highlighter, but they're all swatched together. So that also like just helped confirm my wrong answer of Juvia's Place Tribe. Uh, but Tribe has more orange in it. I, maybe I should have known from that. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. So let's count up what I got right. I got the Juvia's Place Magic palette. I probably should have known that there wouldn't be too Juvia's Place on here too. But anyway, I got the Beach Cosmetics Cotton Candy palette. I'm giving myself it because I didn't name it wrong. I knew what collection, I'm, count, I'm counting it. Three, 
wrong. That is the melt she's in parties. I guess some Huda palette that was wrong. Number four I got right, so this can be three. I don't know what I'm counting over here with my fingers. The third one I got right was number four, Kaleidos Escape Bod Palette. I did get the Lunar Beauty Palette. Mm -mm -mm. I did not get the Dominique Cosmetics Rust Palette or Rustic. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to call it. I'm totally wrong on that one. I did get number seven, Natasha Denona Biba. So we got at least half. Honestly, when we were doing this, I did not know how I would fare at all. So getting over half is pretty good to me. It's pretty good. I also got number eight, the Ace Beauté palette. I did not get the Nabla one, even though honestly, I mean, if it were Jeopardy, I definitely didn't get it. <laughs> so I guess I didn't get it. And then I also did not get number 10. It, I did not get the BH Cosmetics Pisces palette. So I got six out of 10, right? I did not meet my goal of passing the class. I failed the class. I have to retake it next semester. Okay, hard. This was so freaking hard. It was really fun, honestly, to test and not know the answers. I've been thinking about this idea for a while, but I just knew like trying to make Sam find the palettes for me would be so tough. It would just be like, who knows what he'd pick out, right? So it was really fun to do this with another makeup lover, someone else who knows palettes and you know, we can kind of share this, but it was tough. It's tougher than you think. And it's really interesting to see these color stories really stripped of all the packaging, stripped of all of these indicators of what they are, the quality that they might be, the theming of these shades. Like they just look like a bunch of swatches. It really just like kind of evens the playing field here. And when that happens, it is tough. <laughs> it is so hard. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know if you played along, what did you get? What was your score? Are you a more knowledgeable makeup lover in terms of these palettes? I would love to know. Definitely make sure to go check out Annette's video on this. I cannot wait myself to go check it out and see how she did. And just go check out her channel. I think you guys would really like it. She does lots of reviews and um, she does a lot of colorful looks as well. So if you want to find ways to experiment with color, I think you'd really like her channel. Thank you, Annette, for playing with me and having fun. It was definitely a challenge and uh, it'll be interesting. Maybe we should do it again. I think that'd be kind of fun. And I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am excited for the rest of Vlogmas. If you're interested in this look, I will be doing a video with it tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna actually end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.